What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy the Middle Age Gamer and this is the unboxing video for the officially licensed B&T GHM9K Glock Edition Gas Blowback SMG slash PDW from Lamba Defense. This is their first gas blowback airsoft product and they are well known for their LMG AEGs that they make being that they're, they were made out of steel with high internals etc. I'm hoping that they take a lot of their, I would say, knowledge into this product. So, before we jump in, while I unbox this thing, usual disclaimers ahead. This is an airsoft toy. This is not a real firearm. There are no real firearms in this video, or any of my videos to be exact. So, yeah, and I bought this with my own money, so these are my own opinions based off my own experiences. Right now, as you are seeing it, I'm unboxing it for the first time, so... Yeah, this is all as real as it gets. Oh my god. Straight away, like the packaging, it's actually quite nice packaging. As you can see, this is the black version. It does come in tan, and you can have a combination of the two. It retails for £200 at this moment in time. And as you can see, this is in its pistol configuration. Okay, so now that we've got the packaging off, let's have a look inside. Already you can see that you have the outline of the gun, you can see it's in its pistol configuration, hence the reason why it's only her 200 pounds at this moment in time. They will be releasing a second skew of these that will come with the BNT stock instead of the Picatinny end cap. I like the end cap, to be honest with you. Um, I prefer putting my own stock. Now, as you can see, you do get your instruction manual, I guess, there, with illustrations. Read that later. Yeah, we get a lovely packet of uh, Harry Poe. Kind of nice. We've got your charging handle. Yes, it is ambidextrous. You can reverse it to either side, just like a scar. And we have our magazine down here, if we can get that out. Or do I need to? No, oh, there we go. There we are. Now, your magazine is a 32-round Glock mag. As you can see, this will fit pretty much any. I've got a list here. It's KJ Works, VFC, WE, Telkium Rui, um, the AAP-01, and the TP-22, and more. Basically, all of them will fit, which is really good. Um, the only ones that don't are going to be the CO2. They say do not use it. Uh, CO2 mags only use green gas, which is perfectly fine for me. As you can see, you have your lovely design. Obviously, the charging handle is not installed, so we're going to have to do that. So you got your safe, semi, and full auto. As you can see, this is the lower of a, the APC-9, same you can change the AR-15 grip, so you can swap this out to one that's more comfortable for you. You got your GHM-9 there, Swiss made, all officially licensed and traded. It's brilliant. Let's flip that around. I mean, you've got everything even on the bolt there. It is amazing. Ambidextrous bolt start and mag release. Let's see what she looks like with the mag in, shall we? That's nice. And as you can see, mag out. So this is going to be great. Get a couple of stick mags and a few of your pistol mags. You can run this as a primary. It's great. They are also doing a SD kit for this. So basically, the SD kit will give you a 5-inch handguard, a 4-inch metal outer barrel, um, which is going to have the SD look and a special over-the-outer barrel suppressor that goes in between the handguard to give you that cannon break type look. And it will come with the collapsing B&T stock. Stocks from Lambert Defense will come out separate as well, so if you just want the collapsing stock, that's coming over the next month or so. They wanted to get this gun out there and get it in the field, etc. for you guys. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Do you like the uh, GHM-9 look? I think it looks nice. I like it more than the APC-9, because the APC-9 was a little bit taller, and you could feel that top heavy all the time constantly so you were always having to brace it with two hands you couldn't just use it as a pistol so yeah i do like this sort of like lower end um i would say model the more manual sort of thing you didn't have the folding charging handles at the front like the apc9 that's going to be a love or hate thing for you for me i don't care i just want it to feel good in the hand and that doesn't feel top heavy and especially with the stock it's going to be well balanced um, so yeah, I'm going to be excited for this one. I do love the mags though. As you can see, let's see if we can get them in focus. They say 21 there on the real one, but it's not. 
PMAG, although it looks PMAG. You've got the, the plasticky, I would say, coating on the outside, but it's not. It's, it's a metal mag. Made in the USA. So that's basically all the um, nice licensing on that one. Magpul. Cool. Got the base plate. So that is cool. And I like the fill valves up here, like the VFCs. That's nice. Adds to the realism, as you would say. So that is awesome. Right, guys. If you've gotten this far in the video and you like what you see, then please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment and hit that like button. That way... You help the channel out and it's free of charge and everyone who does anything for the channel you're all welcome here everyone in airsoft there's no how would you say special or out like that everyone is welcome and if you want to help even further you can always hit that um youtube thanks button that is kind of like youtube's version of buy me a coffee and you can donate to the channel that way which helps keep cool and amazing guns like these coming to the channel so it's entirely up to you voluntarily I appreciate everyone and everything you do. You guys are amazing. And I've been the Middle-Aged Gamer. And I will see you in the next one.